What's up, man? Welcome to another episode. We back. It's the OD Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and we turned up. <laughs> we back. Yeah. All right, so tonight we're going to be talking about... What did he tell me you want to talk about? Uh, Was Instagram... Um, oh, can social media fuck you up in a relationship? Okay, so or our question tonight up. is... Can social media fuck you up in a relationship? Or can social media beep you up in a relationship? That was something I said. I said that. Yes, I you, asked that. Yes, you. Uh, he asked. Credit gets credit must be I given. Where's the zoo? Okay, I he said, asked that, that. question. Yeah, he I asked that, that question. Yeah. All right. What's your take? Do you want me to answer first? No, I mean I don't. I don't care who answers first. I think we're pretty much both gonna have the same answer. I was just. Yeah, social media up. affects affects you in the days and will. I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. So it obviously depends. If you have a bunch of followers, then in the dating world, if a guy is trying to approach you and then you give him your Instagram, he is going to wonder, uh, can I handle this girl? Because... Oh! And when I say handle, I don't mean like... Whoa, what is there to handle? When I say handle, I mean like, do, like would she want to date me? It, would she be interested in me even though she gave me her Instagram? Whoa. She has all these followers. Well, obviously she's interested in dating me if I'm talking to her. Like, we are, we vibe, bro. Like, I ain't worried about that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about that. One thing I'm looking at, I'm looking at like, all right, she got a lot of followers. I ain't necessarily thinking, can I handle this girl? I'm just on some shit. Like, normally when they got a lot of like buzz like that, they ain't really easily tamed, right? Then like, the first thing I'm looking at, if she do got, like, it don't even matter if she got a lot of followers or not. First thing I'm looking at is, like, what is she doing? If she got a whole bunch of, like, you know, you know how they got, a, you know how they got a little say stories at the bottom of your little Instagram or whatever? And then, like, or, or, or on, your, on your Instagram, you know, you go through her shit. And then she, like, she in goddamn Brazil. Then she in goddamn Mexico. Then she, when she, in, she in motherfucking he, Greece. What I'm she, saying is when he sees this, he is going to wonder oh, if he's able to compete with no! What I gotta compete with? Oh my god! This ain't no competition. It ain't, but no, just it, I mean, how he can it, feel. But that ain't that ain't like, how, why I feel that way. No. So it's not intimidating. No. Okay. I just know that she's doing questionable things. Why is it questionable? Why the fuck are you flying around the world? Where, who? How can you? How are you affording this? I mean, I don't know. I mean, unless you could show me, unless she's like, oh, I do this or that, and wish that, oh, and then even if you say, even if the bitch say, oh, I'm a lawyer, I'm like, well, bitch, how the hell are you making money on all this lawyer money when you're ass in Greece and Turk, Caicos half the damn time? Where you lawyering at to make all this money when you ain't even home? Okay. Social media, we're talking about it so we can bring it up OnlyFans. There are a lot of girls who just believe that OnlyFans. You can have on a That's why we was having single. this conversation to bring up on the fans. I was having fun talking about what I was talking about. Yeah. And you just segue my shit. Just. I'm oh, sorry. No, I'm just playing. Go ahead. But yeah, people have only fans accounts and they're making money out of it. They're showing their bodies. They have videos. They I mean that pictures. too. If she flying everywhere and shit and got down like that, I mean yeah, I'm gonna start digging looking for only fans. She might have that bitch hidden real good. But the fact is, like, what makes I cannot understand how a woman believes that showing their body like this has no repercussions in the future. Like, there's so many young women that have done this to themselves, and their future husband is gonna have to deal with this, or the guy that they're dating if she ever brings it up. Now, someday, only fans is gonna. Someday I believe OnlyFans may go down or you know, someday maybe OnlyFans may turn into like Pornhub and I'll be like the new Pornhub. It'd be the little ones, bro. Who knows? It'd be the little ones. You be a nigga, you be dating a bitch, you be like, yeah, she bad, poop wop. She she ain't got no shit like that. She bad. You bring around the family and shit. Little eight year old goddamn essay right here, little Pedro or some shit. <laughs> then been like looking at her like, I know her. And then he coming in and show you her OnlyFans. You like, how what 
fuck you get this from? How you even got OnlyFans? He like, I use my mama's credit card. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, God. man, mama playing for OnlyFans don't even know. Look, all I'm saying is it be the little niggas, bro. It be them little niggas who be knowing. You be like, bro, how the hell do you even know this, bro? I'm telling you, they be like some some cyber junkies and young kids. These, I sound old, don't I? These young folks out here be. But I do take it affect some, you yeah, know? Yeah, motherfucking kid be doing everything. You be like, damn, but that's why I be like, if you got only fans and shit like that, your child go to school, bro. All it take for them kids to see you one time, bro, they going to find you, bro. Them kids, is, they like, they did like, oh, I don't know. So a prime example is Mia Khalifa. What about her? Because she got divorced? Yeah. Help. Okay. Because she got divorced after she was in the porn and she got married and he just couldn't handle it. He just couldn't, he couldn't handle it. A lot of men can't handle it. And then a lot of women who, you know, like, um, what's that, uh, Euphoria. Remember the boss, um, not the basketball, the football player who... What, found, saw the video of his girl Yeah, who saw the video of his girl, got him piped down. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, he's like, I love her. Having sex and he's thinking about it. It's like, yeah, that fucks with my psyche. I mean, he wanted bit. to see. Yeah, he wanted to be like, I love her. But then when they started having sex, he was thinking about it like, oh, this shit. Keep yeah, this going. is in my head, right? Yeah. So it is gonna mess with them when you, as a female, you're not thinking about it at all. You're just like, I'm living life, and it's crazy because we're in this living life century, which is good because you're supposed to live your life, but everything you do have repercussions. What is live your life though? Sometimes females be like, I need more life experience and I just need to live my life so that I can so that the man will want me. And right? they be like, what is your fucking so, experience? Can I can I touch on that? So what? there are a lot of uh, married females who leave or divorce their guys talking about they need to find themselves, right? And and they have children. You mean somebody need to find you inside of you? No, it's not even a. So no, this is for real. Digging. No, this oh. this is for real. So there, there are a lot of married women who get divorces saying, "I need to find myself," huh? and it's crazy. Or oh, not even married, just there are a lot of women who have children in relationships and then leave because they're like, "I need to find myself. This is not working for me," which is great. You have one life you're supposed to live it, but when you leave this person, even though communication is key in life, when you leave this person. Are you um, not gonna get with anybody else? I'm pretty sure they are gonna get with somebody else, which means why couldn't you work on communication with that person? Because you didn't have an issue before. Does they that make sense? They didn't want to be with him no more. A lot of women say that. And then secondly, um, I forgot my point. <laughs> I really did. I don't know, bro. You be coming out there with these Oh, bro! Oh, yeah! I got another right, I deal! Do, I do, I do, I do, I remember. And then, okay, so you got rid of the guy, right? He's gone, but you still have the kids. Are you gonna get rid of them too because you need to find yourself? Why can't you keep them, but you can't keep him? Cause she don't want his ass. Oh, trifling ass no. She don't want that no. Uh, I'm tired of these niggas. niggas ain't shit. <laughs> All these niggas be cheating and shit. All these niggas. <laughs> what? That's not what they be saying? I'm looking at like it's low. You see how much battery left in them all? Yeah. Did they say 12%? Yeah, 12%. I'm tired of these niggas. F-R-E-E -E, fuck. They what? Free. I just, why they work? <laughs> what if that's how you live your life? What? What if that was your percentage and you had to go charge up and it only lasts like a day? Then I sleep and wake up again like, <laughs> like, like we do. You know? But what if the more activities you did made you lose more energy? Then I'd sleep and wake up again like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like we do. Like you meant to do. So what what if like you go to work it will cost eight eight energy pounds, right? Eight dollars, right? Let's just say eight joules, energy joules. To do what? Just to go to work. It takes energy to work. So eight joules to work. So where I'm getting these joules from? And we start off with a hundred, I don't know. I mean I guess I die when I run out of joules. I don't know. 
what else do you do with Joe's? You gotta pay a nigga to work. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> gonna make me pay you to work bro that's outlandish you crazy but we do that right now how do i pay them to make me work i mean what technically pay you mean like if you buy shit off of amazon but then you work for amazon is that what you're talking about yeah we can go with that let's go with that I ain't, I ain't paying you to make me work I mean, and we also work for the government. Like, the government is just taking our money. I don't think everybody works for the government. <laughs> Unless you had a government job. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to, I was just trying to say some shit. So, no, no, but you just like. Nah, nah, shot it now. Nah, yeah, actually, it was like, oh, that's a shot too. I was like, uh -huh. oh my God, I was gonna say some more shit. <laughs> All right, yeah, what else we got? All right, I'm gonna find a question for you. Okay. Shit, bitch, you got five percent. Hey, I got you. It'll be a quick question. Describe your significant other to themselves. Okay, so describe me to me. <laughs> Beautiful, wonderful, radiant. The vibes. The vibes. The energy. The just all the energy and vibes. <laughs> You know, just, just beautiful in every way, just, just gorgeous, just, yeah, boss, bitch. <laughs> I love when we put so many vibes inside that woman, I always talk about, I don't feel the vibe, we just don't vibe. Uh, yeah, yeah. All words that make you feel calming. Oh, vibes, yeah. <laughs> like, guys, how do you get in with a female? Yeah, use that word. Vibe. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling the energy. The vibes. <laughs> I like your aura. Use spiritual words. Yeah, that's a little words. too homo, bro. Don't say aura, bro. Yeah. Aura is not wrong. I can see your aura coming off of you. You know, that's not wrong. Don't say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, so okay when I you say You walk through the door and you look like baby Jesus, like you were glowing. I can see it. Ooh, boy, your muscles so. Ooh. Oh, you can see it. Oh, Lord, stop. The new ribbon tree, I'm sure. Ooh, don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do. do, 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 do. Why are you hulking? <laughs> hulking? That, I would say I've been bulking up, you know what I'm saying? But hulking, you know. <laughs> I've been trying to get like the Hulk. You feel me? I don't know what to say. And I just try some. Vibes. But I'm really feeling your energy, energy. right now. Energy. But I, I can feel you inside of me. <laughs> you about to keep talking like that. <laughs> you need to let Alright guys, guys. please like, subscribe. Damn bro, you can't go for two more percents. Okay, what are we going okay, okay, I got we another got question. One more percent. Okay, I got you. Um <laughs> Do you like bail or liquor? Liquor, right? I mean like who's ever gonna just like bail? I like both, but I choose liquor. Uh mm mm. Man, okay, so would you date a girl? Well, no, you would. <laughs> date like what? I'm not scared of rejection. Hell. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you'll get rejected of, so much. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm scared of rejection uh, once I get to know you. I mean, just walking up to you and like, what's up, Charlotte? Let me get your number, girl. Like, nah, and that's how you talk to people. Yeah, girl, give me your number. <laughs> then imagine if I was walking down the street, be like, yeah, give me your number. Imagine if girls used to do that to guys and we had to pick them up. I, I want to like pick you up on the next on yeah. the next episode. I'll try to pick you up. It's gonna suck. Like I'm not gonna get no dick. You need to talk around. I'm trying to get some pussy. But I'm trying to get some dick. Give me your number, girl. 
But yeah, I, I'm not scared of rejection and asking for a number, but I probably would be scared of rejection if like I didn't know, like if you was gonna say yes, if I wanted to ask you to marry me or something, or if, or if like I wanted to ask you to be my girlfriend or some shit like that, and I didn't know if you really wanted to date me or some shit, I would probably be kind of nervous. Like, okay, right. so if we were dating for one year, right? And then you popped a question and I said, I'm not ready yet. Would you- Make it the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I mean, it's like 365 days, like. Hell no, nah, shawty. I'm supposed to be air tang to you. Air tang, know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going what if we haven't even lived together yet? Oh right? no, why wouldn't he ask like me? Like we did a long distance and we just moved back to the same city. I would yes. Right, but you know, it's like some people do these things. And I say that just because we, well, we if live- he asked, If he asked, your ass should have said yes. Cause he asked. I don't care how that man asked. If he asked, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. If he real young now, if he young, right, you might have to hit him with grandma wise words, and, and then hey, make make have your mama and your grandma call him though. Don't you don't tell him how your mama and grandma call him. He be like, okay, okay, okay. She just want me to wait. I, 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 I could wait for one more year. And then I don't even see the point of that. Cause shit, you still with me? And then not one more year I ask. We could've just, after you could've just said yes, and then we just postponed the wedding or some shit, but you ain't gonna tell me no. Dang, you know who you look like? Um. Yeah, no. <laughs> you ain't gonna tell me no. You can get the fuck out. Like, like what Michael B. Jordan need to get the fuck out. Uh -huh. Bitch, give me your number. <laughs> what? 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 Why you say oh? Cause Michael B. Jordan. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's sad. Like I, I don't know. I don't know what she's shit. doing. I don't know what she. Man, he's, if you still have a chance to go back to him, you should. Like, what do you? What do you do? Man, hell no, man. Get the, get the step in. Get out. I mean, come on. You don't tell me no. I mean, it's not even the point of telling you no. It's just more... Females live their life... Well, okay. A lot of females live their life in hopes of finding a partner who is also tall, dark, and beautiful. Dark? So you telling me white people be like, ah, oh, darkness! When they... Well, I'm, just, I'm just talking about him and her. Hot, hot, tall, dark, hot, and handsome. How tall Michael B. Jordan is? I don't know. He looked oh, tall. See, he looked, he looked tall from the television. He not. looked tall from the television. No, he probably, he probably like 5, 10, 5, 11. Regardless of the situation, he took you out um, for Valentine's Day at the aquarium. He rented that bit oh, out for you. Oh, and didn't you just leave like that? Like he just blew his heart. But it was only one year. It was, it was one just year. one year. What if we ain't lived together yet? <laughs> <laughs> you been living with your mama and daddy all this time. I don't even know if you know how to live by yourself yet, nigga. Nigga. I mean, I know you're not talking. You don't I'm, tell me I'm, no. I'm going to put you on blast. When I first met him, when we were in college, um, he, was washing, he was washing his clothes. And he was washing it with fabric softener, asking me to talk about it. Babe, you want some of my um some of my um laundry detergent? I got a big bottle for cheap. <laughs> Look at that shit, like, bro. How long have you been washing your clothes like this? It smell real good. It real good. He smell real good. I didn't even know they made shit like that. Why, why you need to soften <laughs> your fabric? <laughs> oh my god, that shit was just so hilarious. That shit don't make no sense. Niggas softening their fabric. Bro, but he he thought he had a down pack though, fabric softness. I know you ain't talking shit. I didn't say nothing. I was just saying, even if that's the case, I'm supposed to be that nigga. Come in and show me where the laundry detergent at. You right. I'm going to show you, babe. Don't tell me no. No. Bitch, give me your number. I, four, seven. <laughs> four, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't talking about that. I'm done joking, though. All right. Okay. Damn, bro. We couldn't do one more percent. Okay, we got this. Oh, one more question. One more question. All right, all right, all right. 
if you got sloppy head, right? Why else you were getting sloppy Who head? Who's coming up with these questions? I had come on my brain bag. Why was getting sloppy head? Do you ever like do you? be worried about the spit that be sliding down that back area? Like, it's, like have you ever gotten my such sloppy area. head? You mean like down like my balls? Yeah, like. And it was in your butt crack too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like, can you like enjoy head when you have to hold a fart in? I was just thinking that too. You were trying to have to hold that fart in because if you fart a little wet like that, you're gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna make a noise. It, it ain't gonna come out silent. It gonna come out kind of wet, kind of. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta hold that fart. You feel me? But nah. Um. I mean, yeah. I don't really. Like, I honestly, when head get that, I don't, yeah, I don't really like that shit like that. I don't want your head doing all that, but if your pussy doing all that, then I'll be like, damn! You know what I'm saying? But if you're doing that like with your mouth and this, like this slob all down, I'm be like, I don't know, bro. I ain't really a big fan of that motherfucker being dead. He wants you to have etiquette, okay? Yeah, like put a, hold a towel while you're doing it under your mouth like this or something. You know what I'm like clean up half this half. Look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of napkins, put them with a, a bib on. Want a knife and fork? Yeah, you could bib, you could bib my balls and like put the bib around right there. Yeah, and then it'll just like catch, catch like all that saliva. Yeah, yeah. And be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweat, right? Sounds great. Any second now, ooh, it's the final countdown. <laughs> it did not die. You thought it was gonna die. No, I was just vibes, bro. Vibes. I feel your energy. Oh my God, your aura is green. I see it. Like there's a light. I bet you I can guess our you. camera horoscope. I bet you it's uh, a Taurus. Why he says a Taurus? Cause he's fucking ugly. All Tauruses are hideous. And and and. What you have against a Taurus? I actually don't know one Taurus. Like, that's why the camera's a fucking tourist. Fucking ugly. I am a tourist. Okay. I'm asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How does a pineapple grow? Well, I learned in Puerto Rico, you gotta cut off the top of the pineapple and then stick it in the crown. Which I did not know before. Which is very so how did you think a pineapple grow? That means we're eating dirt fruit, and you guys never even mm -hmm. said nothing. We're just <laughs> seeing dirt fruit, dirt right? Fruit. I mean, it's just like we eat them. How does that even make sense, bro? Carrot right? fruit, like a lot of dirt fruit. We have so you telling me fruit. a pineapple gonna grow around the piece that you cut off? Yes, yeah, gonna go down. Then you eating dirt fruit. I mean, that's some sweet dip. That's dirt fruit. I mean, there's a seed in the middle of the avocado. Like, how did the seed get there? An avocado grow a plant. Yeah, and then it came... Avocados out. grows off the plant. The avocado don't grow out the seed and, and it grow around it. Yeah, but you're telling me a leaf, a branch, grow a whole fruit. What does it have to do with the pineapple? I'm talking about how the pine, you put the top of the pineapple on the ground and then it grow another pineapple right there. Then you eating the dirt, a dirt, just dirt fruit. You just, how are you telling me ain't no dirt get inside that pineapple? I mean, God made this dirt on cook. They just say that so you feel better when you get canceled. <laughs> that shit ain't true. Bro, when I was a kid, they used to, um, I used to, like, I am so gullible. So, the first thing that I definitely remember, they talk about if your hand is bigger than your face, then, um, you got AIDS. And I was like, BAM! Right? I was like, oh my god! But then after that shit, I was like, so does this mean I have AIDS? No. I know. But I didn't know any better. I was young, like dead ass young. I was young too. I think I did look one too. You did. I don't remember why they said. They said if your hand smaller than I think when I was younger, they said if your hand smaller than your face and your dick little, and I was like, what? 
Oh, there's the te there's the theory that a guy's shoe size and the size of his length of arm right there is the size of his dick. That's how many niggas you know dick the size of their forearm. <laughs> that was a, that was a theory when we were growing up in school. Y'all bitches ain't had no, couldn't have been taking dick at that point. How the hell? They're like, yeah, it's like this. I mean, I had no small. We were small. Oh. So like the size like right here, there was like a little theory going around that dick is supposed to be the size of the hand right there or the size of the shoe. So, you know, if a guy says he's a size 7, you'd be like, oh. I don't think your dick is the size of your foot. And for a long time, I didn't know if it was true or not. Because how am I supposed to be like, bro, can you, like, stand here let me put your shoe next to your dick? Like, I'm just trying to, like, average it off in my head. I do not think shoe size is an accurate... There is a girl, though, who did mark her in inches on her hands so that when she is sucking dick, she can, like, see how long You're talking about she tatted that shit on her arm. Yeah, yeah she tatted that shit on her arm. Yeah. Which is very funny, because I'd like to see, like, how big Yeah, that is funny. I'm, that is actually I'm, really I'm, funny. How big am I? I'm like, <laughs> oh, my lord. So what you think? I guess we can cut it, bro. This fucking yeah, camera this, this is, is a zombie. A, it, he is dead strong. and still going. Like, it's been... It's been... We only have two minutes left for recording anyway. The That's funny. countdown. Do, do, like, only one minute left now. One minute left on what? Then we have no more space to even record anything. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, shout it. Okay. How was your day, babe? How was your day? Well, my day was really good. I just love when he asked me this question and just make me know he care about me. So you didn't ask me that question so that... Is something wrong? <laughs> no. It's relationship problems. This ain't relationship problems. It's goals? Bruh. Final countdown. It is still going strong. This is a zombie camera. The bitch been dead. <laughs> This motherfucker's just alive. At least we would have been able to take awesome pictures if we needed to. Right? Mm hmm. You look like um one of them that <clears throat> IG pools where the girl. Give me your number, bitch. Yeah, if that's how I was walking up to you. Yo, you tall. No, that ain't how I'm saying. I be like, hey, yo, Shawty, you got fat ass. Come here, give me your number real quick, bitch. Hey, yo, bro, you tall. Give me your number. You got muscles. All right, Shawty. I like that. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you're so tall, sir. Can I have your number? Nah. Okay. The bitch was getting my number. I was swerving bitches left and right. Curving bitches like, Purr. nah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 